In this problem, we're told the x component of vector a is minus 25 meters and the y component is plus 40 meters. A says to find uh, the magnitude of a and then b says what it is the angle between the direction of a and the positive direction of x. So the way I want you to think about vectors is like a triangle. So if we have a triangle like this, right, this isn't going to be uh, the exact one for this question, but it's going to give you an idea. So we have this triangle. I want you to think of the hypotenuse as the vector quantity. So in this case, it would be a, right? But so just think of it like a triangle, but the way you want to make the triangle is based off the values. So if you have an x, y plane like this, right? So here's our x, y plane. What you want to do is look at your x component and your y component, and that's going to tell you what the triangle looks like. So in this case, they tell us the x component is minus 25 meters. So that's going to be in the x direction, right? Because it's the x component. So positive would be in this direction, right? Negative would be in this direction. So we want to go minus 25 meters to the left. So your triangle would uh, look like this, right? So minus 25 this way. So minus 25 meters. And then the y component is going to be plus 40. So if you imagine it, x and y again, down would be negative, up would be positive. So we're going up again, right? Plus 40. So you want to go up now, 40. Right, so this is going to be to scale, but just imagine this is 40. And then just draw your hypotenuse connecting the sides. And so this is going to be our triangle. And the vector A is just going to be this length right here, essentially. If you imagine these as lengths, uh, they could be given as something else, like uh, they could be given as a velocity or an acceleration. In this case, they're given as a distance. Uh, and so essentially what we have to do is just solve for A. And so the way we're going to do this is by using the Pythagorean theorem. So you should know this by now, A squared plus b squared equals c squared. So imagine like this is a, this is b, and this is c. And so we're trying to find c, right? We're trying to find this length of this side. And so you can just solve for c, right? If we just get rid of this squared, c is going to be equal to, c will equal the square root of a squared plus b squared, right? So this is going to be a, this is going to be b. So if we do, I'm going to replace it with a, right? So a, like this, is going to be equal to the square root of minus 25 squared plus 40 squared. So if you go ahead and plug this in your calculator, uh, you're going to get that it equals 47.169 uh, and so on. I'm just going to round uh, to the tenths place, so I'm just going to make it 47.2, and then keep in mind our units, 47.2 meters. So A, or the vector A right here, is going to be equal to 47.2 meters. So this right here is going to be your answer to the first one, A. Uh, let's look at B though. So B says, what is the angle between the direction of A and the positive direction of X? So once again, imagine this as an XY plane. So if we have our line like this, which angle are they talking about? So think about the direction uh, of A, right? So this way, right? So this is the direction of A. Imagine it intersects there and the positive direction of X. So if this is the positive direction of X, we're trying to find the angle between them. So essentially this angle right here. So this is what we're trying to find. And how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do first is find this angle right here. And so the way we find this angle, you can find this angle uh, if you know the values in this, if you're given uh, the x and y, if you have those values, you can solve for it. And the way you do that is by taking the arc tangent, so arc tangent of your y. So in this case, this is our y component, right? So 40 over your x component, minus 25. So it's going to be the arc tangent of 40 over minus 25, and that's going to give us this angle right here. And keep in mind, if we know this angle, we can find this one right here. So if you do that, uh, arc tangent of 40 over minus 25, you're going to get minus 57.99. So, right, but imagine it's just positive, right? So it's just going to be 58 degrees. So this right here is 58 degrees, and we're trying to find this part right here. And so keep in mind, you can do that if uh, you know that if you have a straight line, the angles in it are going to add up to 180. So we can just find it by subtracting this number by 180, right? So 180 minus 58. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get it equals 122. So this right here is going to be 122 degrees. So your answer to B uh, is going to be 122 degrees. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.